Hi, my name is Nick. <laughs> Holy hey, how you doing? All right, all right, all right, hold on. Let me, let me sexy it up right. Hi. This your boy, Nickname Padaway, and most people know me from, I don't know, baby, what is you doing? You know what's so funny about that day? I never say, oh no, baby, what is you doing? Somebody just saved the, the picture. They just put, oh no, baby, what is you doing on the... And it just stuck. I was I'm gonna just start saying that from now on. So somebody else created it, I just ran with it. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? What is you doing, baby? Oh, damn, no, damn. Oh no, baby, took the... No, damn, baby, what is you going, baby? We gotta shoot, baby. When you smack your girl booty and she smack yours back, and they put the, oh no, baby, what is you doing? It, it went with everything, and it just stuck. Dan, what is you doing, baby? Dan. Dan with the van is the man is the Uncle Peter Pan. I knew how to freestyle. I could point at a door, and I could rhyme door with like 10 things. It was just easy. So whenever I seen Dan do something, I was like, Peter Pike, pick a pike, pick a pike, pepper. Peter Pike, pick a yeah, the boy's a high stepper. It sound funny with the voice and me saying S They got nothing to do with anything that pertain to what he was about to do. And then we just still and run. Oh, no, Dan. It just opened up doors as far as like celebrities started calling. Chris Brown was the first to grab our video. And once he started posting, he started going on tours in the back. He'd be like, Dang, sir, what you doing, baby? He started doing the Peter Pan. I knew we made it when T-Pain's manager was in the mall. I ain't know who he was. He was like, come to my hotel. No lie, I thought he was trying to rape me. I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't going, bro. He was like, I need you to pop him on T-Pain right now. Man, take the chain off, T-Pain. Let's see you. I said, T hyphen pain. That's my man. What you doing, t pizza baby? Damn, what is no, Daniel, son? What is you doing, baby? After I, I popped up on him, he put us on stage. He told me to hype up the city. Whenever they saw us do the video with T-Pain, Jeremiah and Chris Brown people, they hit us up to come be in a video. So once we went on set, it was like, yo, I need you to run up on Chris Brown's set and take like the producer didn't even know. The producer was like, yo, get these mother off my set. That's the type of doors is opening up. People are starting to book us to come to mess with their client and steal something from it and run off. And then it just got so popular to where people would see us. They were like, y'all better be trying to do that stealing Started going into TV shows, started getting booked for clubs. It was multiple lanes to get booked for anything. I made the song That's the One based off of the influence in New Orleans already from multiple bounce artists. It's meant to make girls bend over and air it out. Any other state, they have twerking, but New Orleans is shaking. You may think they're having a seizure, but it's a dance move. I took it and I put it on the beat and I just made it as kid friendly as possible. I said, Dan is the man with the plan when I hit you with the When we got the call for a while, then out, Dan didn't talk, so it was hard for him to even try out. They were just like, it, I have both y'all on the show. So we ended up coming up with a scenario. We gave him signs. You always trying to spark, but you're the only man who could ball headed with stretch marks. It was tough, but it opened up another door for a TV show on BT. Oh, baby, we're in the studio, baby. Oh, so it's amazing, man. We had pulled up on Zaytoven, and the plan was to steal his computer so that we can give it back to him at the, the Red Carpet Awards or whatever. I was like, wait, before you give it to him, what's up with exchanging the ticket for a beat? He was just like, nah, we don't need that. B ticket for, for a beat? For a beat. That ain't it. That ain't it. So we just took the laptop and ran off with that bit. And then we ended up jumping in the Escalade, and I think we almost slammed the manager arm in the door. But you couldn't see it because I had to run with the camera like this. So if you want to know how I got skinny, it's because I was running like this. <laughs> it's too much. You are here live at the BET Hip Hop Awards 2018 Green Carpet, baby. I would have to say hosting that was the toughest thing. Yo, could we dab you real quick? You're sweating, baby. So I had on this little silk green outfit. You can see all the sweat coming through the top. It's like a sexy ass uh, green uh, bean, baby. Yeah. Like, the stage was small. My nose just moist and my forehead and all it just wet. One more stuff here, bro. We got your MacBook, brother. Man, yo, you lucky, man. You lucky. I met so many celebrities and all the celebrities knew who he was. Like even when I spoke to Lil Duval, I was like, bro, I can't wait to be where you at one day. He was like, you are already here. You hosting this. You know what I mean? Y'all bring joy and make people laugh and right. make people smile. Because that's what we need. That energy right there was way past black entertainment television. That was black entertainment entertainment. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. You can't keep doing the same stuff over and over and over. Eventually, your fans will get tired. Me and Dan separated. We still brothers. Like, he stayed two blocks down. 
The relationship I built from all the other artists, it led to something bigger with the game. He hit me up to host his show and was like, all you gotta do is sit right here in the middle and make this bitch funny. He got his name from playing the game so much, his grandma just named him Game. And by me being there trying to aggravate him while playing the game, it's just trolling, but it's funny at the same time. Blueface, every time he got a first down or he got a touchdown, he'd be like, he thought he was just gonna take it. He thought he was just gonna take it, man. And then the game started getting mad. I'm gonna grab him too. Bang on. Got him, Nick! And he just started going back and forth, just grabbing me. Man, he ain't slow. What you doing, Nick? Nick! No lie, I felt like a rag doll, but it was funny. Oh, you thought he was gonna take it, hey. Cause That's the evidence for when I when I send that to the police. When I sue you, this is not one of my coins. <laughs> then I'm gonna be more viral. Eh? The doors that it is open is endless because this era is so tied to social media. We did something with Netflix it's called Instafamous, and they have your most favorite social media people on there. They even got meme pages on there. You ever seen a meme page be famous? They look like trolls, bro. In Instafamous, I took the camera people all around and showed them where I live at, where we eat, how we party. I think the biggest thing for them was the party because they've never seen New Orleans bounce like that. Like, you see booty. You know, booty's a beautiful creature, you know, yeah. But then when you see booty, it's just, it, you can hear that? Once you get to this level and get a blue check, you're now within the industry that you never thought you'd be a part of. And you are going to be dealing with stuff that you never thought you'd deal with. You can't be yourself anymore. You have to be this image that everybody wants you to be or what they see you as. When you do it for so long and, and it's not really elevating you, you get tired of it. People are gonna still walk up to you and be like, yo, you're the guy that, you gotta be like, yo, you're the I'm about to smack the out of back up. It, it, just, it gets to you, but you can't let it get to you. You gotta have dope, positive energy. I'm so high up, you can smell the trees. It's... <sighs> Broke people only smell flowers. I smell trees. Let me show you why. Look down. These are the cocaine Harambe 12s. I'm gonna start selling this. Who don't want to pair Harambe's? Matter of fact, his anniversary was just a few days ago. Rest in peace to his soul, he always with me, as you can see. Maybe one day whenever you're ready to like get something different, like my fingernails for instance, I got Dragon Ball Z on them. This is Omega Shinrine on my thumb. If I really want to make a wish right now, it would be I wish a would, you know, because I got them hands. I would summon Omega Shinrine and say I wish a would on God. The pros and the cons, they even out, but then, you know, all the pros start hitting you at once. It's like, ah, ah. You get free this, you get money here, or you get a booking. It's just hitting you left and right. And you just be like, yeah.